Hello guys, uh, I hope you're well, I hope you, you're in good health, it's around 10 o'clock in the morning, so I will have breakfast. We're gonna start the day usually with a tea, so we're gonna do just that. There we have it. I would say cheers, but you don't do it with the tea, so... guys later. It's time for exercises. I want to show you today my uh, my morning routine. Regular push-up position. You go down on your elbow, then you go down with your left hand, then you go up with your right hand, and you go up with your left hand. Keep your core flexed, nice and steady. Alright, you do this for 45 seconds and then you, you have a break for 15 seconds. Then you do the same thing starting with your other hand. Left arm down, elbow up, up. Second exercise. It's called side plank with your elbow down. Come in this position, go down, you push up, you go down, you push up, you go down, push up. We move to the other side and we go. Back to the push up position because we are going to do actually push ups. Watch the position, not too up, not down, arms not too wide. Try to stay flexed with your core, also the head, not up, not down, try to keep it straight. I'm sure I didn't say anything new with this, everybody knows this push-ups, not everybody does them. Push-up position again, and you go with your one foot, the other like this, you do it quickly. Let's go to the next one. Back with the fifth, I think it's the fifth exercise. It's called seated leg flutters. You need to be in a seated position, legs up, legs straight, feel the core working. This one works, you're lower. Absolute 45 seconds. Now we're gonna have a 15 second break. And we go with the sixth one. Are you still with me? We have come to the last one and it's called boat float. You lift your head and your upper torso a little bit up from the ground and, you, and your legs up too. And you stay in this position as long as you can leg, you're going down, come back, and you hold this position as much as you can, ah fuck it, I'm just gonna use a little bit of butter instead of oil, put the onions, of course anybody can do eggs, the idea is to combine some, some things which gives it a little flavor. Sometimes I use onions. Sometimes, and it's actually one of my favorites, I use pepper. I even use carrots for the color, for the texture, for, for the taste. You can play with this thing, but actually in my family it's like a, it's like a tradition. Scrambled eggs, but it's with uh, everything. I mean, really everything. So it's like a mixture of everything, you know? It's one of the best foods you can, you can eat for breakfast, really. But when I don't want to complicate my life too much, I use the, the simplified version of this because many times I just don't have the time and sometimes you're just not in the mood for that. So then you can do something like this, like, and it goes like, bam, it's 10 minutes, everything, and you're done. So the onions are done. 
it's done. So, voila! So this is my uh, scrambled egg variation. Try it out. I just like it. See you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you gave it a thumbs up and I hope you will share it to your friends and family. Stick around on my channel to watch some more of my videos and please don't forget to hit the subscribe.